viewers today i would like to show you a uh, new phone uh, from oppo this phone has created a lot of hype in the market this is as you can see it's realme x uh, phone uh, now we are going to check the details very quickly the plus point of this ca of this phone is it has a notch free display and a pop up camera the camera rear camera is 48 megapixel and 5 megapixel dual camera setup and it has a front camera of 16 megapixel and the display size is uh, 6.5 inches and it has a battery of 3765 uh, milliampere and the phone you can get it from flipkart i have purchased it uh, for rupees around 17000 so now we are going to check uh, the phone realme x phone uh, i have used it i have opened the box before so i am showing you uh, the content what's there inside the box uh, there is uh, nothing really uh, interesting uh, you can get you will get all the things that are usually with every phone inside the box there are regular stuff like the sim ejector tool the uh, warranty information uh, etc and uh, one thing remember uh, there is uh, this phone has usb uh, c type charging port and this is the usb uh, c type uh, charging cable um, the cable is quite i think it's a solid cable and uh, the, the it has a it comes with a big charger they are saying it's a vook charger and it has uh, as oppo claims that it has uh, it is a 20 watt charger a uh, fast charger obviously the size is pretty big and you can now see the charger um, it charges the phone quickly but it is a big and also there is a very good case inside the box it's not very uh, soft remember it's uh, a mixture of uh, soft and hard shape uh, it's uh, a black shaded and now uh, I'm going to uh, set the phone inside the um, case and now you can get uh, the phone yeah there is on screen uh, fingerprint uh, uh, so you can see there uh, no headphone is uh, inside the box okay now uh, let's get the uh, back side the back side is really uh, great it although it's made of plastic but it's it has a really glossy finish and uh, the display uh, is um, they're claiming as 6.5 inches uh, full HD AMOLED display and on the on this side you will get the uh, power button and uh, there is the um, uh, SIM slot uh, the SIM slot you should uh, note that the SIM slot uh, is uh, dual uh, 4G dual SIM uh, it's a, obviously it's a dual, dual SIM phone and uh, but uh, this phone doesn't have uh, micro SD card support on the back side uh, there are two cameras uh, the main camera is 48 megapixel uh, camera uh, Sony with Sony IMX uh, 586 uh, sensor and there is also a 5 megapixel uh, depth sensor and uh, obviously a flash and on the top side uh, there is the pop-up camera uh, the pop-up camera has created a lot of hype uh, because in this budget section you won't get such thing and uh, uh, the uh, so the display is a full screen display there is no notch or like that and uh, the I, I can tell you the front camera is of 16 megapixel so friends this is one of the cheapest phones that are uh, available in this price segment I mean uh, below 70,000 rupees uh, which has a, a full uh, display with no notch and pop-up camera now this is the uh, rear camera the rear camera is uh, pretty fast I, I already told you that it is using uh, 48 
and 5 megapixel dual camera setup and it has a Sony IMX556 sensor um, so and this is the pop-up uh, camera which uh, acts as a uh, front camera uh, the uh, pop-up camera uh, goes up and down very fast so there will be no problem uh, it's really fast and uh, the front facing uh, front camera is uh, quite good uh, and it is fast I can tell you it's very fast uh, so there is no problem with that and uh, you can switch uh, the front camera and the back camera uh, at a pretty fast rate it's really uh, usable uh, there is no lag at all and uh, all I can say that uh, with the dual camera setup of 48 megapixel uh, primary camera with Sony IMX 8 586 uh, sensor and uh, 5 megapixel depth sensor and along with the 16 megapixel uh, front camera this phone gives you good uh, photos in normal lighting condition although uh, the camera struggles a bit in poor lighting condition in the last part of this video I will give you uh, some comparison photos with uh, taken with my redmi note 7 pro uh, mobile uh, so that you can uh, compare the photos taken with uh, redmi note 7 pro and this uh, phone this realme phone has its own color os uh, which i don't uh, i'm not a fan of color os but still it's a uh, color os and the android version is under uh, latest android 9 uh, that is android pi and it has a uh, uh, qualcomm snapdragon processor 710 which is quite fast octave processor and it has a ram of uh, 4 gb and it has it comes with an internal uh, memory of uh, 128 uh, gb so apart from the pop-up camera the plus point of this realme x phone is its uh, notch free full screen uh, 6.5 inches amoled display which is bright and you can use it in uh, easy without any problem in uh, full daylight uh, the screen is bright enough and the color reproduction is quite good So, uh, I think uh, in this budget, it's a overall it's a good phone with great uh, display and uh, stylish pop-up camera, which is obviously the latest in the market. And now uh, the pro mode of this uh, rear camera has different effects. You can use the time lapse and nightscape, uh, different. Uh, modes auto modes and you can uh, in the pro mode you can uh, set the uh, if you if you are in pro mode or in expert mode you can manually adjust the exposure and other camera features and it is uh, capable this phone is capable uh, to uh, capture um, time lapse or slow motion videos and uh, when you switch from the back camera to front camera the switching is uh, pretty fast and uh, you will notice in notice no lag in everyday use uh, okay so uh, overall if you are trying to get a, a good camera phone in this budget i can recommend this and uh, now you are uh, getting the display and the back side obviously it's quite attractive a glossy back although it's not glass back i think it's made of plastic but and the front screen is full screen the screen to body ratio is uh, quite good there is uh, no bezel actually these are some uh, quick shots taken with this realme x phone uh, it's quite good in normal daylight i will show you later uh, some comparison photos with my redmi note 7 pro and uh, there is uh, I, uh, no camera lag uh, the shutter acts very fast and uh, the color reproduction overall clarity of the image 
the focusing is quite good you can see that in the picture now i am showing you some comparison photos with side by side this is now this photo is now taken on redmi 7 note 7 pro and this one is on realme x okay and this one the same shot is taken on redmi note 7 pro uh, this is on uh, realme x again this is with the front camera of realme x and this is with the rear camera of realme x this is you can see that it's on redmi note 7 pro and this is on this phone realme x and this is taken with uh, note 7 pro realme x note 7 pro realme x note 7 pro the same photo now this video i have shooted this video uh, with uh, realme x you can see uh, though i am working the video is uh, quite steady uh, obviously this is taken with the realme x back camera rear camera um, the color is good and the resolution is good okay now you will get the same video uh, with taken with my uh, redmi note 7 pro rear camera uh, it's also a good camera you can see the images are almost uh, uh, same okay but i think uh, it has redmi note 7 pro has uh, a bit age over the video image stabilization so that's all for today please hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you